Yeah, hello everyone, Clinton here. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to look at steps to use Windows 10 Storage Sense feature to see what's taking up space on your hard drive. You might uh, be among those people that come up to their local disks and you can see uh, this is going to be showing a red color. That's to signify that your storage is completely filled up and you need to actually free up your space or else it's going to interfere with a lot of things you try to do. Most especially your browser might not load up for you. Okay, so you can actually uh, go ahead and just make use of tools that you can use to check your storage on your device. But in this video, I'm going to be making use of absolutely no software. So we're going to be making use of the uh, storage sense that analyze the content of a drive to figure out how space is being utilized on your computer. So you can free up space or determine if you need to upgrade the storage. So if the hard drive is filling up quickly and you don't know how the space is being utilized, just go ahead and do this. Stick with me throughout this video so you don't miss any step. So the first thing you will need to do is to go over to your settings. Okay, so from here we have our settings, go over to system and then go over to uh, here that says storage. Okay, so from here you can see that um, our storage sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temp files and content in the recycle bin. Mind you, the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and check your recycle bin to make sure that all the files you've deleted recently is not taking up your storage because that would be the first thing you would like to delete. Okay, um, so right now you can just go ahead and check this out um, on my system right now. I have the videos is taking up 64 gigabytes, apps and features. 58 gigabytes you can see everything just on your screen right here so what you will need to do right now is just to go ahead and you know uh, let's say for instance your temporary file you can just go ahead and open that up click on it and give it some time to load up and it's going to scan your device okay right now you can see that automatically the Windows is going to select a few of these for you. Okay, so you can see that automatically these ones have been uh, checked. The box has been checked for us. But from here, you can see that downloads and delivery optimization is not checked automatically. This is because uh, the download here is just going to be um, exactly the files you've downloaded from your browser. In my case, I'm using Chrome. And if you delete, if you automatically check on this box, it's going to go ahead and delete every single file you've downloaded. Uh huh. So what you should not be doing is to click on this. You can actually just go ahead and go to your, um, your file explorer and go to your downloads and manually delete your files. Okay. So as you can see right now, in my case, um, I have a, a, a total of 244 megabytes that I have, you know, uh, the, the windows have selected for me. Uh, okay. But in your case, it might be something different. So I can just go ahead and click on remove files and it's just going to automatically delete, but I'm sure that this is not the major thing taking up space on my device. Uh, in my case, I'm sure it's the videos because I make a lot of videos and I don't delete them most of the time. And it's, uh, it just keeps on adding up and adding up. So this is uh, what I'm just going to have to do. Go to my videos. And once I click on videos, it's going to bring up this option for me. And I'm going to go ahead and click on view videos. It's going to take me directly to my file, my file explorer. You can see it's here. And I'm not going to do, uh, do anything right now with that just showing you guys how you can be able to do it your apps and features when you come over here you can see uh the, the the apps that are taking up space you can come over here and sort it by 
size so that the ones that have more um, larger size would show up show up first for you here that's how you can do it guys just go ahead and delete those uh, apps that doesn't you know really help you or you're not you you are not frequently using them okay so that's just it and for the system reserve let's see what is inside okay it says that the system files need uh okay the system files takes up to 13.9 gigabytes and this system won't work without them this is my reserve storage and this is my virtual memory this let my computer run multiple apps at the same time so i think the system reserved there is nothing we can do about it and one thing you should know is that once your uh, system starts to you know show you uh that once the system starts showing you this bar here is showing red you'll notice that your system and reserved would be compromised because it will affect a lot of things running on your system okay so this is just how to do it guys um it's it's most it's safe to do it this way compared to downloading third party softwares okay so you can just go ahead and just view your storage usage on other uh, drives for instance you have more than one drive and you can just click on that so you can actually check which one you want to actually free up in my case i have only my drive c clicking on that will take me back into this place as you can see so if you have more than one storage on a default it's going to take you straight to your drive c or let me say the drive where your windows is actually installed on how do you know where your windows is actually installed on you will see the windows logo on the drive here a lot of you don't know that but i'm sure that now you know okay guys this is basically everything i would like to talk about in this video and i hope you guys learned one or two things from this video so don't forget to like if it helped you out drop a comment in the comment section and you know how it goes consider subscribing to the channel all right guys i'll leave you guys for now see you guys in my future video peace out all right guys so that is basically everything you need to know about this um tutorial here so guys if you find this tutorial helpful go ahead and give it a like for the youtube algorithm i really do appreciate that so so much and you can also consider subscribing to the channel have a great day guys